Hello everyone, this is Dove again. So in this video I wanted to show you how you can charge your Jackery 500 with a panel other than the ones that Jackery offers. They have a 100 watt Solar Saga panel that's well over $300 and which is out of my price range. And other than that I already had this Renogy 100 watt folding solar panel. I bought that to use for my Ener Energy Apex and then I ended up getting the Dokio 300 watt for my Apex and so I'm just going to use this Renogy over here on the Jackery. The problem is that they have this proprietary input and that's an 8 millimeter barrel plug and that will only plug directly into um, the Jackery Solar Saga panel. So I had to buy an, a an adapter cable to get this to work, to get my Renogy to work on this Jackery. And so I went on Amazon and I got this cable. It's only about three feet long. It's not very long, but it takes me from this eight millimeter plug to the MC4 connection, which the Renogy has. And I've already got it hooked up. So that's what it looks like when they're hooked up. And when I bought this cable, it's, it says right in the the description that you need to make sure that you've got your polarity right so that you're ordering the right cable. So I'll put a link in the description box for this exact cable which will work for the Renogy going to the Jackery 500. This does work. I've tested it. I've already charged the Jackery with it. It's about $22 for this cable and as you can see it's really short so when I was charging it, I had to put the panel right in front of the Jackery because I didn't want the Jackery sitting out in the sun. You're not supposed to let it sit out in the sun. And so I had to have a way to shade it. Plus I couldn't have the panel very far away from it. So I just plugged it in to charge it. And then when I unfolded the uh, Renogy, I just leaned it up against the Jackery. I had uh, a, a lid for a big plastic bin that was about as wide as this thing is when it's unfolded so that worked out really well but yeah you need to make sure that you have the polarity right and so that's why I will put a link in the description because it has to be right or you'll fry your panel and so you just plug that in to the input and that light will come on but it will only come on when it starts charging. So like you, when you plug it in, it's not gonna immediately come on because you have to open up your panel and get it out in the sun and then it will start registering. And what I found was this panel does exactly what the Jackery Solar Saga panel would do because it says um, on the Amazon description for the Jackery that with a solar panel, a 100 watt solar panel, you should be able to get uh, 62 watts for the input when you're charging from the solar panel and that's what I was getting with the Renogy when I had it in full sun and it, that's slower than if you were to charge with the AC adapter because when you have the AC adapter uh, plugged in to charge it it will charge at a rate of 81 watts and that's in line with, with what the description says on Amazon for the Jackery so just be aware that you probably want a longer cable than this and so what I did was bought extension cables so this is a 20 foot extension cable and that's the male end of the MC4 and this is the female end right there and so I've got both red and black and so this will give me 20 feet of cable so that if I have my Jackery inside my rig I can put the solar panel well away from my rig to get solar gain and I won't have to have this sitting out in the sun or anything and so these are the tools that you need I bought these separately too these tools are what they use when they're actually making MC4 connections 
you, you can tell that's just slightly different. And this comes in a set. This set was about $10, and I'll try to put a link in the description for that. And for separating these cables, you really do need these tools. I tried to separate them by hand before and just with a pair of pliers, but that did not work. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but there's little clips here that have to be pushed in so that these two connections can be taken apart. And when I was using this on the Apex, I bought a special cable just for to run the, Ener the Renogy panel to my Apex, which has an EC8 connection. And so I, uh, I tried to disconnect the, these cables without the tools and that just didn't work. So you do need these little tools and they have them in plastic, hard plastic, but the reviews for them were not very good. And so I opted for these metal, um, metal tools. Oh, and these, uh, these cables were from Windy Nation and this set right here, like I said, it's a 20 foot extension and this set was $32 at the time I bought it. So you've got about $30 there, about $20 here, and then about $10 for that. So I think I will set you down now. I'll turn the camera off and then I'll turn it back on because I want to show you how you use the tools to take this apart. Okay, so hold on. Okay, here we go. It's going to be a little bit awkward. I'm sitting on my bed right now. So the reason why I want to disconnect this, obviously, is because I want to now add my 20 foot extension to it, but that'll give me the perfect opportunity to show you how to use these little tools. So this is the connector, and hopefully you can see right there, these are the little tiny clips that have to be pushed in. Uh, yeah, right there, they're just little tiny clips that have to be pushed in so that you can pull these apart. And like I said, this tool set comes with two different tools. This one is a straight sided one. And like I said, these were made for actually making the MC4 connections. I don't really need this one ever. This is the one that I have to use. And you can see that it's got like a step down, whereas the other one is just straight pegs. Hopefully you can see that. And so what you have to do is you have to put the, uh, the tool right on the uh, clips and you push it all the way in until you can't push anymore and then you pull apart <laughs> pull apart the connection so there's the male and the female so again you just put the tool right on there right on those clips so it's gonna look like that and so it's pushing those two clips in right now simultaneously I've tried it again I tried it with a uh, needle nose pliers and it just didn't work it's not worth it just save yourself a lot of time and money and buy this little tool set for ten dollars push that right on there and then it pulls straight off Okay, and so when I go to connect my, my extension cables, you need to make sure that the red goes to red and the black goes to black. Your polarity has to be correct. And so I've got the red right here and the extension cable has one of each like I showed you. And so you just push it in there. I, hopefully you heard that click in there. That is not coming off. And then you do the same thing with your black cable. Yeah, this is awkward. Black to black. There you go. 
so it's on there nice and tight. So now I have 20 feet of cable that I can string this panel way out away from my rig and away from the jackery so I don't have to have the jackery sitting in the sun. And then I'll take my adapter cable. I still need this thing. This is that little three foot extension that goes to the eight millimeter plug. And so I am going to lose efficiency. There is no doubt about it. The longer cables you have, the less efficient your panel will be for charging. So I was charging this at a rate of 61 watts to the Jackery. So it wouldn't surprise me if I lose a couple watts once I put these extensions on. I don't know that for sure how much I'm gonna lose, but it only makes sense that I'm gonna uh, lose some. Now, the gauge on this is, I believe it's a 10 gauge or a 12 gauge. I'm not sure, I'll put it down in the, uh, in the description. But it is uh, a bigger gauge. It's a nice big gauge compared to this little wimpy stuff. So it's not gonna be as much loss. I'd rather have too big of a cable than too small, to be honest. And so we'll take the black extension cable and plug it into the black end of my adapter cable. And that wasn't a loud click, but I heard it and it's not going anywhere. And then the red one to the red, just like that. And just give it a good tug and make sure you got it on there right. And so now I am locked and loaded to take this out and charge it the next time I need to. And so all of this will fit very carefully into this pocket, hopefully. It's a pretty big load for the pocket and it just barely fits. I'll obviously, I'll be uh, trimming off this wire tie that's holding the cable, so I'll trim that off later. But it does all fit into the panel pocket, just like that. So It does add some weight to it. Those cables are heavy because the gauge is, is bigger, but I would rather deal with a heavier cable than to not have a good enough cable. And these tools, I, when I first got them, I was keeping them in this pouch, but because this gets set on its side when you open it, like that, that's how you would set it normally to charge. And so when I was doing that, my little tools were falling out of the pocket. So now I just keep these tools literally in my toolbox so that I'm not losing them and I know where they are at all times. All right, so that's how you hook up a Renogy panel to a Jackery 500. Hopefully that was helpful to someone. I know we've all are real interested in all this solar stuff and they do try to make it easy on you, but Jackery kind of does not since it's uh, got that proprietary plug so you are going to need to get an adapter cable all right guys talk to you later bye